I'm here with Ross at, uh, from Wells Soup, amongst other things. Tell us about Wells Soup. Well, Wells Soup has been going now since April 2016, <coughs> and the next one is on April the 13th next month. And so far, we have helped 47 charities, not only raise money, but also to spread the word about their, what they're doing. And um, we started off in the Seagull Hall, we outgrew that. We now have over 100 people coming each time, each quarter that we put on a suit to the Connect Centre. Um, people pay five pounds for a bottle of suit. Four charities are given four minutes each to present. And then there are four questions from the floor afterwards. Um, and at the end of it, the assembled company vote on the charity that they think is bringing the most to this lovely city of Wales. The five pounds is goes towards them, but also each soup is sponsored by a business in Wells or a, an individual. This next one is an individual who wishes to remain nominous to the tune of two, 350 quid. So there is a pot of minimum pot of 700 pounds. Great. The winner gets 350 quid, they, the one that gets the most votes, and the other three get 118 pounds each. So they all go away with money, but the most important thing is that it's a platform where they can spread the word about a wonderful work that they are doing within the local community. Well, I can attest to that because I spoke on behalf of uh, the City of Wales Lions last time and uh, we, we have a new member as a result. We had somebody came up and donate for a prostate cancer testing day we're doing. And uh, I have to say, I thought that the overall organisation was excellent. Everybody was very relaxed. You met new people that perhaps you, you, you'd not met before. This is what it's all about. It's a community thing, Paul. Yeah. And it really, really works. We are very, very proud of it. Good. You've done a great job. Thanks, Ross. Thank you.